Hey folks, so what I want to do is I'm gonna try to make a little tutorial and pretty much a little experiment because it's gonna be a completely new design for the hawk sheet. It will be for that uh, sock fast hawk. And here's the idea I'm gonna do a fold over this way, but once everything is done, the tab will be actually cut open, grounded open, so it will be open on the top. I will have rivets from here, probably from the corner, down and around from the bottom and then the kydex sheet will come over actually behind the handle with little widening on the outside so it will actually, you will be able to push it in, you know, it will open and then close on it once it's done and there will be small little, just a separate like a two part kydex sheet for the, pi, uh, for the spike Spike, spike will be probably something that will be just easily slid on and off with the bungee cord attached to the one of the rivets up front so it will be you know squeezed together so when you have it in the sheet uh, the spike will be always protected but uh, it will give you the ability to work both ways if you want to use just the spike you can just undo, undo the spike and still have the cutting edge covered you know to make it a little safer or the other way around if you're using the cutting edge, you can just do the you know bungee cord, leave it up here, so we'll have the spike covered again for a little more safety. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat up this kydex the way it is. I'll fold it over. I don't need to do the step by step. You see, you know, in the other tutorials I have, how is everything done? So I'll see you once this is molded, just so you get an idea. Alright folks, so it's molded. You see I actually got a really nice print on this. That new press works really well. For, you know, such a thick head and everything and the handle, it did really nice job printing. Now, you see I scribed what, uh, with the mark, what I probably will be doing if everything goes well. Holes for rivets. One and a half inches, three quarters, one and a half, three quarters, just whatever the way they, you know, I could have fit them so they will fit my tech lugs and all that other stuff that I could use. That will be around the shape. Here I'm gonna go a little bit behind the end of the head so I can actually flare this out, you know, these two ends, both the direction. So when you're actually sliding, because the way this is supposed to be working is I'm gonna be sliding my head this way in from this direction this way that's why you see this tab will be cut open grounded off this tab will be uh, left but here so the head the cutting head will slide in this way and then this through that flared out part because this is narrower it should actually slide nice in and then lock in because it will you know fit into that pre-molded shape hopefully that made sense you see this way in and click. So I see I might not even have to flare this part out but maybe just this top corner since I will be sliding this way and then for removal it should actually be nice and easy just leverage by the handle and as you pull out this way it should actually come out nice and easy. Pretty much same principle as I was doing with my cold steel hawks you know click in one way and uh, unclick re uh, release uh, another way and it's only one way cause you won't be able to I shouldn't be able to pull it out any other way because this these two holes will secure very very strong retention I might have to loosen them up and also the very nice print very tight fit of the kydex sheet over the head over all these areas that should also secure very very secure you know click in so let's see I'm gonna go drill the hole set the rivets in and shape it into shape grind it off and see how it works just roughly and see how much you know after after molded after finishing you know like uh, reheating and letting go and repressing we have to do so we'll see soon all right folks so shit is done see just like i showed uh, what i had to do i did have to heat up the the molds of those crazy holes because they were causing way too much retention and once you actually, because of the way this one came out, once I clicked it in, it had it has so such a great retention on its own that those holes actually prevented it from getting the hook out. One more thing, what I did was I actually added one more rivet up here. You see where this mechanic, where this little screw is, 
to also to support the rigidity because it was kind of big big leverage from the bottom from this bottom rivet to the top so it was a little flimsy it still was secure enough but uh, because of the rigidity and also for perfect location for this retention shop which is a really cool feature so you see cut, cut it open all the way up front here did those rivets as I showed before didn't have to even have to flare out this uh, this back portion I could actually cut this even shorter but uh, work out perfect what I did here is I bent this side out a little bit kinda like a thumb ramp to support it but actually when it's on the belt you you cannot reach there so it's kinda pointless and it works without it perfectly and as you can see I did that small little just the cover for the for the spike uh, one thing what I don't have I cannot find any piece of uh, you know that uh, bungee cord so the idea will be you know still kinda getting used to it okay work perfect you heard that really beautiful click idea will be there will be bungee cord from this back rivet to probably here from the end from only from one side from the back probably so as I pull it out as I pull it out I will be able to pull it out this way the bungee cord will let me go but now I will be able to just go forward with that hook bungee will you know get to the point where it cannot stretch anymore and it will just push this piece back that's kind of idea so you, you don't even have to do it with your hand or if you want you can you can always just you know take this off it will hang hang on the on the bungee cord and then you remove the hook so you see the nice retention and like I described I'm going from the top in and then down and it clicks in very very securely this is not coming out for nothing even without the retention strap but I actually happen to have one of these I think these are called uh, I, IWB bands inside waistband for gun ho gun holsters straps it's kind of like a rubber very strong rubberized strap with the three holes for you can actually adjust for different different dimensions belt and uh, if you see you click it in actually click it, clicked it wrong this is that click that only in one direction you can click in and unclick it so if I'll try to unclick it from this direction from up here it won't go only from up front here it will let go pretty tight and uh, imagine by clicking this in you know this is hot close so there is absolutely no way to lose this so absolutely foolproof you know system all it takes is unclick it and even if you use it you have it on your belt you don't have to worry about this losing it having this unclicked just be ready to take it out in and out so that's kind of neat I really like how this one came out it's just really nice shape I like I did that orange just to you know make it shine a little bit more so if you use it with that thing on you know you can always undo the bungee cord if you for whatever reason you want to you can always undo the bungee cord and just go around the handle and go in here make a little knot and it will keep this on it so you can use it and you don't have to worry that you're gonna hit yourself or somebody with that spike as you as you use the hawk so kind of neat I really like it you see I did the tech lag on it oh one more thing a lot of times I notice that people put tech lags I what I think is opposite way because a lot of time you see that the hinge people put on the bottom so if you go on the belt they have the hinge from the bottom my understanding is that the hinge should be on the top so when you put it on your belt let me show you and it's gonna be a nice example also uh, to see that hog in action so when I'm putting something on my belt I go from top of my belt so even in the case that the system mechanism on the tech lock come undone something clicks on it or whatever you know it's still it cannot fall down it's hanging on that hinge on that opening you know you know what I mean hinge so click it in this one has the security also actually so I can secure it in sheet on my on my belt and now I can just click it in you know secure it if I want to and it's nice on my side it's a little little more comfortable not even comfortable you know I love to carry this small one I love to carry just behind my belt it's awesome even in the simple nylon sheet it comes with but this is better you gotta admit that you know having a kydex sheet like this just works much better and you see how I can remove it oh, I actually have my belt undone 
So it clicks in nicely, that strap always kind of like pushes away, it doesn't get in, in the way, it might be possible that it gets in the way, but most of the time, so far what I've tested, it just, just jumps away from the way when you click it in. So, nice quick release, nice quick click in, I really like it, spikes, spike face is backwards, this is on, on, the, on the outside, I still can access my pockets. It's a little in the way, but I can always, you know, slide it further back towards my back, uh, not, not so much up front. But I, ha I have it here because it's actually quite comfortable to reach for the handle and remove the hook, so that's the reason. So I'm very happy with this one. It wasn't so hard as you can see. It's literally exactly what I described. I just, this, this one came out pretty nice and easy, just like I described. I modded it, I drew the, where I want the holes, I drew the outside shape, which is kind of completely irrelevant. You don't really need to. You just need to make sure that the head of the hawk will fit on the, between the bottom. You see that silhouette here, and the top piece where you, all the way where you grounded it when you open the top piece. You just have to make sure that it will fit there. Get rid of the indents from the hole, from the or, uh, initial molding. And you have to make sure that it clicks in. Other than that, everything very simple. You see I have this only slightly overreaching the, the edges of the top. This kinda doesn't really matter because this actually closes up on it after the handle goes through. So kinda doesn't really matter all that much, you know. It doesn't even, it's that this is not the part that holds most of the weight. Most of the weight is actually held in this area, in this indent here and this front. This is, I could probably actually cut this all the way like this and it wouldn't actually have any effect on, uh, on the retention of the sheet. At least I, I, I'm guessing, don't take me up on that. So. Hope you found it helpful guys, it is really, I recommend it. It is a lot of work, but it, it's definitely a lot harder than a uh, knife shit. But it's not as hard actually as uh, as when I was doing the cold steel, cold steel frontier hog and uh, a couple of the cold, other cold steel hogs. So, kind of like it. I'm very happy how it, how it works, how it looks and overall system. Something getting stuck here. <laughs> there you go. So, also like this attention strap, pretty cool. It's actually very handy. They are not the cheapest for how simple thing it is. They do cost, you know, eight, nine dollars, which is kind of ridiculous, I think. But they do come handy to have at least one or two of them if you are a knife guy, because they work very well for small, small knives, for your belt carry, and I like them. So, hope you enjoyed it, guys. Now my hog is complete. <laughs> Thanks for watching, take care, stay safe, and remember, don't cut yourself.